Tell me, Matt, about the mergers and acquisitions. I'm in practice, 15 years, I have a great practice, things are doing well, but I'm not sure if I want to stay. Perhaps I've reached retirement age, perhaps I've uh, uh, come close to maybe giving up on my practice because of the latest changes. Tell me a little bit about this merger and acquisitions. How does your company help us with mergers and acquisitions? Sure, we certainly like to have these conversations uh, earlier on, so uh, at least a few years out, and we really can help get the practice in order from a financial perspective, uh, certainly helping uh, understand what the practice is valued at, um, and then looking to facilitate uh, warm introductions to potentially healthcare systems or other physicians or larger groups, uh, which has become very uh, common in the last few years. Um, larger groups, uh, you know, focusing on various practices uh, to bring greater operational efficiency, uh, greater purchasing power, um, and as well as the acquisition funding, we're able to assist with that. If a physician were to sell their practice, we can help the potential buyer um, secure that funding and ensure a smooth transition, not only from financing, but also the insurances that would be appropriate throughout that process. And you're able to do this throughout the nation? Throughout the nation, correct. You heard it, doctor. You see what this is. I mean, all of us know that being in practice requires a few extraordinary components. One is to obviously be a good doctor, but you can be the best doctor in the world and you can have the most patients in your city or perhaps even in your state unless you're able to maintain the practice and financially balance what the expenses are versus the income, you might not be in business. I love the fact that uh, this company is able to offer so many aspects of financial dispositions. So whether you need a loan or possibly rethink about your account receivables, which is a great idea, because to me, account receivables just turn away, such a waste of time. I sit in there for three or four years and if I can get my money up front today, even if it's whatever the percentage is, it's a lot better, especially today, because I can take that money and invest it uh, rather than just let it sink it there and certainly not an interest. And I know for a fact that there are no insurance companies, and I'll say that again, there are no insurance companies that will pay you that money a year later with interest. They just mm-hmm. be lucky if you, let, if you see it and we do see it, um, it's usually at a loss. So... I love all these programs. One last question I have for you, Matt, and I'd I'd like to know this. I'm in the States, there are many, many different financial advisors, many companies such as yours. We've chosen to speak with you, which is fine. Why would a doctor somewhere in the United States work with you as opposed to another agency or a bank or anything like this? Why would they pick you Again, I've I've asked you something similar to that earlier, but I'd like to know, why would they pick you? Because you're in New York and I'm on the other side, or I don't even know what company you are. Why would they pick you? Give me some some good points about that. Sure. It really ultimately comes down to the relationship and the personality, but also, you know, leveraging 20 years of, of corporate experience in doing this work, the work that we're doing and the way that we can create the plan um, is, is very different. So those other providers may be very siloed in what they do, and we can take a realistic, you know, holistic approach, not only from the financing and protecting the business, but then thinking through what is the, uh, the exit strategy and uh, the protection of the physician assets through retirement. Um, there isn't an organization that can handle all three under one roof uh, like we can. Very true. I said there was a last question. If you don't mind, with your, with your permission, I have one more question. Sure. And it just came to my mind as you, uh, as you suggested this. Um, okay, so if I'm working already with somebody, if I already have uh, perhaps an, ad- an accountant or an advisor, or I have applied already perhaps with some of these loans, can I come to you? Can you also help me review what I've got and 
would there be a charge for that? What, what, what's the process on this? Yeah, we're happy to offer an objective opinion. Uh, really, to our, our entire goal is to be helpful. So if you have a, we certainly respect, um, you know, relationships. And uh, so we would never try to uh, uh, dissuade someone from that current relationship. Uh, but at the same time, if there is an opportunity to be helpful, we'll certainly mention that. Um, and if they should uh, continue with what they have, we'll also let them know as well. So that's our approach. Quite amazing. I, I love two things. He just said it twice. It's quite interesting. And he said it one more time earlier. The, the opportunity to our entire goal is to be helpful. Most companies, and you know, I've been doing this for years now and interviewing so many different doctors. Most companies will say our entire goal is to be successful, to make you successful, to be helpful. I like that. I really like that a lot. The difference between helpful and successful is helpful is you care about me. Successful is you care about your money. It's a big difference. So I certainly like that approach. Matt, it's a pleasure. It really is a pleasure. I, I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate the integrity by which you presented this program. And uh, to me, you don't sound like a salesman. I don't know how well you do, but it's just the, the fact that the way you've presented yourself and the way you asked on some of these questions and answered um, it's it's really straightforward. I like that fact. I like, you know, all of us don't need the salesmanship today. There's so many other issues we have to deal with between the masks and everything else. Lord help us just to stay alive. You know, so if a company comes in and, and like you said, your entire goal is to be helpful, I think that's a winner. I thank, thank you very you. much, Mr. Warner, thank for you. coming on board. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for Aravine. Of course, the information to all of you is posted on the video. Um, at the end of the day, it's not about me, it's not even about Mr. Matt Warner. You and I know for a fact that there are many opportunities out there. But when an opportunity comes, and I stand behind these opportunities myself, and I see them all the time, why not give it a call? And nothing to lose. This isn't something where you have to sign a three-year contract with a monthly payment. It's free. I would do it. I would check it. I would compare it. And if it works, let me know on that. Tell me this was great. If it doesn't work, let me know as well. Tell me this wasn't great. But at least give yourself and the practice a chance to succeed and become better and greater than you were before. Thank you for taking the time. I appreciate each and every one of you watching. Thank you, Mr. Matt Warner. Thank you to the people at Aravine. May God bless you in everything that you do and looking forward to hearing great news.